can run into calcium deficiencies and you can also run into malabsorption issues as well when you're when you're running acidic and the best way to alkalinize your blood is not to use the pH diet or the pH miracle diet or or, or pH balancing water or alkaline water God's way of alkalinizing the blood is oxygen that means making sure you're practicing your slow deep breathing techniques as well as activating the relaxation nervous system the parasympathetic nervous system so got lots of great strategies there fats in the sun and vitamin d and intestinal health and kidney health and making sure that you're uh, taking care of your oxygenation needs through deep breathing and relaxing the body that's that's what i would be doing for calcium absorption don't forget your vitamin k also all your fatty vitamins really but especially vitamin k okay thank Is that you our, all right, God bless you, What are you, bile salts? What are bile salts? Bile, B-I-L-E, bile yes. salts are the active ingredients, the, the active components in the liquid that we call bile. Bile is a liquid that's, that's pumped out of your liver and gets stored in the gallbladder. And when you eat a fatty food, it gets squirted out of the gallbladder, assuming you have one. Doctors love taking gallbladders out, but assuming you still have your gallbladder, yes. the, the bile gets squirted out of your uh, you squirt it out of the gallbladder into the intestine, and it helps you absorb your fats and your minerals. Bile salts are the active ingredients in that fluid that we call bile, and you can supplement them. You can take them in uh, by themselves as bile salts. You'll see them listed on the ingredient deck on your Ultimate Enzymes and various enzyme products, or you can get bile salts, B-I-L-E, bile salts off the Internet or in a health food store just by themselves. Okay. All right. I appreciate you, Ben. Thank, Thank you, Cheryl. So much, and you have, have a blessed a, day. You too. God bless you, man. Bye-bye. Okay, Chris in Maryland. What's up? Welcome to the Bright Side, buddy. Chris. Yes. Hi. Hey, Stop. Chris. Hi, Pharmacist Ben. What's up? Uh, yes, I have a number of health issues, and I'll try to be brief. Okay. Um, but one of my main issues is that I have non-traumatic hematoma on both kidneys, and I am on dialysis. Okay. And I have what is also called polycystic kidney disease. Okay. And I'm not able to build my blood due to my kidneys. Uh, they're both, of course, they've failed. And um, I understand from what my nephrologist was telling me that uh, one of the reasons why your kidneys have failed is because uh, there's an enzyme called APDA. No, 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 no. Don't go there. There's only one reason why your kidney fails. Oh, Dirty. I understand. My high blood pressure and diabetes that, I, that I've had. Well, those are secondary. There's one major reason. And the reason I think this is important is because if you can boil it down to one major reason, there's only one thing you need to do. Right. So, right. yeah, there's enzymes that are involved, and there's genetic changes that are involved, and certainly blood sugar is involved. There's, there's all these different factors, but it all comes down to one thing. Mm. And it, it, this, the reason this is important is because this gives you power. This gives you control over your condition. If you're going from your enzymes to your genetics to, your, to, your, uh, to blood sugar and here and there, to and fro to all of these different factors while they're involved, you're going to go crazy. But if you can boil it down to one main issue, you simplify the whole process. You know what it is? All, and it makes perfect sense when I explain it to you. What do the kidneys do? They're your spaghetti strainers for your blood. They're right. your filters for your blood. Correct. The only reason anybody has kidney disease, and you're in good company because there's millions of people who do, and there's the epidemic, the dialysis is like an epidemic. Mm. The only reason you have a kidney problem or anybody has a kidney problem is because the blood is dirty. Right. This, this is so important because it simplifies everything. You can't control your enzymes, but you can control your blood because mm. you, have, you are the only person who, will allow any, who can allow anything to get into the blood. Your doctor can't control that. You know, the, there's no drugs that can control that. There's no medical strategies that can control that. We control what gets into the blood. Now, mm. there's only three ways. I don't know if you've heard, you know, heard me before, but there's only yes, three I ways. That, okay, so you know what I'm going to say. There's only three ways that things get into the blood. Mm. They come in through the skin, rarely, if you're an IV drug user or through Never. vaccines. Okay, that's one way, but that's rare. The second way is through the lungs, and again, that's rare. Never the, smoke. Okay, so that's rare. You know, you may breathe something in. We got crap in the air, of course, and chemtrails and all the stuff they put, put into the air. That's a possibility. But by far and away, the number one reason why the blood gets dirty is from food. Yeah. And we control that. Mm -hmm. So kidney disease is a, is a blood disease. It's a sign of dirty blood. And the only reason, for the most part, the, the major reason why the blood gets dirty is because of how we eat. And because of the digestive tract, breakdown in the digestive tract, it's called leaky gut syndrome or intestinal permeability syndrome. So 
For kidney disease, you got to work on the digestive system first. Now, the blood sugar is also, the system is also involved because the blood gets dirty from sugar, and oxygen is also involved because a lack of oxygen will cause the blood to become sticky and gooey and clotted and coagulated, and that will also clog up the kidneys. So between these three points, you have massive control over kidney disease. Are enzymes involved? Obviously, they're involved in everything, as we've been talking about. Is genetics involved? Obviously, genetics is involved in everything. But these are not your control points. Your control point, your major control point, is the food you're eating, especially sugar, and, through, and then oxygenation. So do a food diary and eliminate problem foods. That's step number one. Always, always, always eliminate problem foods. If you want to do one single thing for your health from a physiologic perspective, eliminate problem foods. And that means a food diary, of course. And then strengthen the digestive tract using good bacteria, probiotics. Get on the nightly essence. Use fermented foods. Make sure you're getting enough fiber. Also building the digestive lining with essential fatty acids and zinc. Uh, and also perhaps glutamine powder. These are all strategies for building a healthy digestive tract. And then stabilizing your blood sugar. Restricting your intake of foods that break down into sugar, of course. And then using sugar metabolizing, sugar processing nutrition. Chromium and vanadium, those are your superstar sugar metabolizing minerals, along with zinc and along with selenium. That would be your healthy start pack, your ultimate selenium. And personally, if it was me, I'd be getting on 50 milligrams a day of zinc picolinate. Find that at the health food store and always balance out your zinc with a little bit of copper. And then uh, as far as uh, nutrients, as far as vitamins go, for, uh, for helping with sugar, the B complex is stupendously important and it's a major deficiency because we excrete the B complex, reg B complex regularly. At, when you're done with your dialysis, the odds are really good that you're going to be deficient in your B complex, the very <clears throat> nutrients you need for processing sugar. So make sure you're using your Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Make sure you're using fresh veggie juices, great source of the B-complex. Sprouts, great source of the B-complex. Eggs, great source of the B-complex. Living foods, B-complex is, the B-complex is your energy vitamins, and living foods are great sources of the B-complex. And then also, especially niacin, by the way, great for sugar metabolism. I'd be doing timed release niacin, 250 milligrams. Last but not least, my friend, please make sure you're practicing your slow, deep breathing techniques to make sure that your blood is flowing and uh, the circulatory system is moving correctly. Thanks for your call, Chris. I wish we had more time, but that's all we got time for on the Bright Side. I'm Pharmacist Ben. Thank you so much for listening, friends. Tomorrow we'll continue talking hormone health as, as it relates to the skin. We'll talk specifically about the pituitary and the pineal gland. Check out my website, brightsideben.com. And if you're interested in purchasing any truth treatment products, go to truthtreatments.com. Thanks for listening. Have an awesome, spectacular, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now.